Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Valheim. So we are currently now on episode 58. Oopsie. Not quite what I had in mind. I wanted to make some sausages out of all this intestines that we've gathered. We really need to go out and gather more uh, boar meat though. Okay, that's the last of the boar meat. You can make more turnip stew. Okay, so we can actually make turnip stew instead of carrots because it gives 10 more. Okay, okay. So we're going to be growing more turnips. Wait, carrot soup. Ah, uh, it gets, it's get complicated. You know? It's like, we don't, we no longer need deer meat, basically. So we take that one. We don't need that one right now. Let's restock on our carrot just to get rid of our carrot. Because we're actually going to go out adventuring. We are going to go and commandeer my boat, which is lying somewhere. That's why I'm taking so much food with me. I just saw one as half. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go out and commandeer my boat. Let's just upgrade my not upgrade repair. Let's just go grab these carrots that are lying around here. They can come with us. Since we don't have much on the stamina food. See, this is why I don't like so much doing the garden, making it too big. Let's go click each item individually. If you don't aim it just right. Okay. So, our harbour is over here at the moment. A little makeshift harbour that was our old base. No! Oh, damn it. I have enough arrows because we were shooting arrows. Let's go grab some arrows quickly. Just now we face off against that sea serpent story again. He's like, nah. I ain't running a second time. No, we move the arrows to this base. And there's this chest. Yeah, this chest. It's gonna be all my fire arrows. Take the poison ones as well. We need more we can craft more, but I'm pretty sure that's not all the fire arrows I've got. Sorry guys.
Hmm. That's all the fire arrows I had. Uh, we'll take half of these as well. And this is the stamina one. Half of these as well. Okay. Mostly I forget that I've got them, that I don't use them. Yeah, because in the past, sorry, I had a bit of a cough there coming through. Because in the past, what would happen is I have like, I play with my friends, and my friends are like, hey, you need this, you need that, come on, grab it, grab it, don't waste time, you know. And because I'm playing by myself now, bit of a different story. Okay, so we are out of luck. We're going to be sailing into the wind unless we go straight up the coast. See, let's go a little bit to the right. We are going to leave the coast, so let's go. Adventure. Oh, like I want to go a bit more left, but we're going to go into the wind. So we know that there's a a uh, black forest there. Okay, there's land in front of us. The only thing I hope it isn't is uh, planes. Look at the design of this water. It's like... How did they do that? Like, the character models are crap. But you look at the water. You look at the sky and all the detail in the sky. And you think... It's like two different games in one. I'm having to do a little bit of tacking here. Oh, wouldn't change direction on me. That's where we're heading. So this is actually a giant sea turtle. A kraken. And you do want to do these when you see them. But the likelihood of me dying right now is very high. So we'll go take it slow. Because with these things. Yep. So you see these abyssal barnacles here. Once I start mining that, he's going to go under the water. Uh, we're going to do this. See, there we go. And there's, there he goes under the water there. He moves while you while you hitting him. So if you're not careful, like I nearly ran out of stamina. 
uh, you could end up losing everything you're carrying because you died. See, he's not happy that I hit him with the pickaxe. There he goes. But then again, I don't think anyone would be happy that I just hit him with the pickaxe. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a bit of a black forest here. It looks like a black forest. Won't see too nicely. That's oh, meadows. So yeah, when it comes to mining those, you got to be extra careful that you don't get too greedy. But if you've got a friend with you and you mind them, then they work out quite well. And even carrying my stamina potions, I forgot to use them. Okay, let's not sail into the rock. It's not sailing to the rock. I'm either turning too much or too little. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh, that was close. So I'm trying to get to the land here without going parking the boat directly at the land like this. Oops, I ate my potion. I ate both my potions. That was not intended. I'm setting us up a little camp for the night. What? What are you doing here, buddy? You're like, way, of course. So now we've got a little camp for the night. Uh, sorry guys, I'll be right back.
Okay, cool. Sorry about that. When nature calls, you got our answer. Okay, so now we've got a little spawn point on this piece of land. Protect my spawn point fire. Yeah, now we've got a little spawn point here. Let's explore this area quite a bit. There is the new merchant. Uh, what's the name? Helder. Kemp. Yeah, this is the merchant that came in last month's patch. Let's go have a look to see what she has for sale. Okay, so she's got these little things, which look like dresses, simple tunic. They're quite expensive. Don't know why they get, want to give me a sparkler. Iron pit, an empty vessel waiting to fall with firewood and kindling. That's interesting. Oh. Oh, 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 it's probably this thing behind me. And a barber's table, barber's kit. So I'm guessing that's the the fire pit that they talk about. So basically, I know from watching the patch notes and other people's videos, you do quests for her and she gives you upgraded stuff. Okay, so we've got a small plains. Oh, another goblin. Goblin to town. Okay, goblin saw me. No, goblin saw the... The boar. And there were magic users there. Okay, so the only way we can be able to get our barley by doing this is we're going to yellow into those. So I need to get barley. And not get hit by the desk getter in my back. Where'd he go? Oh crap, I'm on an elevation, which makes it harder to kill them. Here he comes. Ha ha! Okay, let's head to our little spawn camp here. I needed to get more wood so that we could build a chest. You don't want to be caught by them on your spawn, especially now that I'm so far away from my main base. Like it's on the other other end of the island, man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the nice gear off. Okay, so we need the chitsu, we need the high, we need that, we need that. Oh, we apparently need one more chest. How's that for luck? And my food, of course. 
Okay. Now we're going to yellow into that. If we get lucky, which I'm hoping I do, we're going to pick up some barley. And then I'm going to run out as far as I can so that they reset. Now, where was that locks? I don't want to upset that locks. And I want to get as close to them as possible so I can play my route. Because we haven't scouted this base yet. Oh, things are dying, man. I hear Deskido. Oh, it's flying above my head. Protect me. Okay, so are we ready, guys? Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's take ourselves up. We're going to die anyway, so it's a matter of getting in and getting out. Okay. See, this is why we panic. Oh. Okay, we see where the ball is. Mission number one. As you can see, there's a lot of them. So that's why we didn't take anything important with us. I think that was carrying some carrots. Yeah, so we know that we know that the ball is on the left hand side. Of where I died. So the thing is, even if I just get like one click onto it and just grab one and run out, that's all I need. And then I just obviously got a death run to get my body back. Like I said, we don't want to upset the Loxies. And we don't want to be hit by that guy. He's going to have a thing for me. There we go, got it. Now let's get out of here fast enough. So if I get on the barrier, they can't hurt me. They can't get in here. And check it out, we've got eight flex. Mission successful, guys. Mission successful. Okay, let's go put the flex away. Because we live right on the border of a plane's base. So just that alone drastically increases our, our potential. Okay, so we're going to do one or two more death runs. Because whenever we die, we just come back to this point. That's why I made the spawn camp there. I want to map out this area. So I picked up some stuff. Okay, let's go for it. Yellow. Yellow. 
So we know that there's a swamp on the other end. We saw the the trees, right? So I'm trying to see now how big this plains area is without going into it. Okay, a lot of boars here. Okay, they're protecting that. Now we're in the dark forest. So this is where the planes begin, I think. You can hear all the skeletons fighting here. We should build a base right here. Okay, so we've got planes here. And there's the swamp. So we can actually move closer. Because all we need to do is just do death runs like this. Oh, great. Didn't get very far into this one, did I? See the goblins and the the draga are fighting each other, which is good. I'm fine with that. I'm probably looking for crypts actually. So if you guys see a green light, shout. But we are naked, so if I do die, it's, it's whatever. Nothing so far. Yep, there's a blob. Okay, just recharging my stamina up here on the rock. There isn't coming towards me. The water is deep. The lack of iron on this map is annoying, man. So there's another goblin camp. But we just want to scout this out a little bit better. And we totally want to get eaten by the leech. Because, yeah, why not? We're not wearing any poison protection. Nope, that was close. Okay, I'm not seeing any... Cool, then we got Bali. The, the likelihood of me getting that Bali home now is very low. That's quite a big biome. Man, 
I have to be careful of those disc eaters while doing this naked run. Because you all one shot me. Okay, so mission slightly successful. Uh, we're going to head home with our loot. We found a plains, we found a useless swamp. We got our barley and uh, flax. And we found the new NPC. Oh. See, they won't come under the shield. So while I'm under here, I'm safe. Gotta love game mechanics in your favor. So it's like a big area, but there's I didn't see any crypts. Which is a bit of a bummer actually. Okay, so let's repair the ship. We do have this area marked. So here we got our flax and barley. That we can now grow ourselves. We've got our food. We've got our armor. Let's head home. Uh, let's repair our boat. Boat's fully repaired. Nice. And the wind is in our favor. No, it's not. It's against us. Oh, well. No, the wind is in our favor. We just got to go straight across. And the wind's behind us. Uh, no, straight, directly straight. We've got to go a little bit left. Dun, 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 dun. The only part I'm worried about is getting dark. And dark is sea serpent, and I'm like, my spawn point's on the other side of the island. <laughs> but we are loaded with good stuff. We've got the barley, we've got our flax, we've got some chitin. Is that another turtle? It's another turtle on the port bow. I think it's port. Yeah, we're not going to risk it. We are just going to sail past him. Looks like he actually just, just came out. Because he wasn't there when we came through the first time. Okay, so keep heading this way. Do 
Nice sunset on the water. Okay, he's obviously just de-rendered for me. You are cold. And my ship is taking damage. And we're far from the shore. And guess what just swam in front of me? Come on, we can make it. We can make it. This is why I don't like doing it at night. <laughs> There's the land. There's the land. Did the sea serpent leave us? Yeah, it left us. I know at the beginning of the video I said I would not run away from it twice, but I got good stuff, man. I got good stuff on me. No, my boat is not by the harbor. Let's go that way to get to the harbor. For a second, I thought the sea serpent was coming. It's good to know that they actually spawn out here. <clears throat> Sorry. Repair. Oh, I see the boat was like low, low on health. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of a risky thingy. So we're just going to light this fire. We're going to sleep here. Mostly because this was just to reset my spawn point. I'm going to take our cultivator. Number seven. Because now we're in the plains. Smash the trees. Kill the Deskido. So now we're in the plane, right? Okay. We're going to go here. I'm going to cultivate this bit of land. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted. Definitely not that I wanted. I couldn't see them there. But it's also good to know that they're here. Okay, we'll go this way. So, uh, I don't want to destroy those plants. Now we go here, and we plant our barley. Boom. Boom. We didn't get that much, but... As you guys saw with the, the carrots... This little bit, there we go, turns into massive amounts. See, the reason I don't want to destroy this is because these are so handy to have, and knowing that they're at my farm. These cloudberries, oh, they're amazing. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a little farm here now. The, the bush it can go. That bush, that bush. That one. 
Okay, there's no bush. That one. They can all go. But the cloud berries we want to keep. Okay, let's make this here. Register as farm. Farm. Okay. See, we've got this whole section that we could easily map out here. But yeah, let's head back to main base. Offload this nice stuff. Oh, take that guy home with me. How much more? Oh, only carrying four. I thought I had much more. I'm just blind shooting, I'm not even aiming. Boom. It's a pity I can't grow the plains stuff out of the plains area. But I guess it makes sense why they did it. Okay, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of us risking our lives and doing naked runs to get some vegetables. Yes, and no. We risked our lives for vegetables. But yeah, I shall see you guys in the next one. You must have a fantastic day and a fantastic night if it's nighttime for you. And I shall see you in the next episode. I did make one improvement. Uh, I put the wolf hide up there. That we picked up in the previous video. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic time. Laters.